Phoenix injector. Before we start to push brake fluid up the brake line with the Phoenix injector system, I'll replace the master cylinder cover with no hardware. That way it'll avoid any fluid from shooting out of the master cylinder reservoir under pressure as Mark bleeds the brakes from the caliper to the master cylinder. He'll push some fluid. Make sure you push a good quantity of fluid. You don't want any air in the braking system. Once we've pushed a sufficient amount of fluid through the new brake line, Mark can remove the Phoenix injector. He can then tighten the bleeder. You don't want to torque it at this point, but you do want it tight so it cannot drip. I can return up to the front master cylinder. I can remove my cover, inspect my fluid level, make sure there's enough in there in order to start to pump up the brake. You'll note by using a Phoenix injector, you'll almost have brake lever feel immediately due to the fact that you force the fluid from the caliper up the empty line and into the master cylinder reservoir. Most all the air will be gone at this point. I can pump the lever till I have good lever feel. I'll double check my reservoir to make sure there's sufficient amount of fluid in there. I'll put my cap on loosely and I'll clamp down on the front brake lever. At this point I'll have Mark crack the bleeder loose and we'll just double check that there's no air left in the braking system.